Hello everyone, welcome back. It's 2018 and I thought that we'd kick it off with something special. Yes guys, welcome back. It is 2018. We're starting off the new year. We're going to start it off great. Um, I figured since it's the new year, I've been saving up for something special. I figured I'd do this every year and I'd show you the addition to my playing card collection. I did a video last year. If you have a moment, pause this video, go check out that other video. I'll put a link in the description. That shows my uh, deck collection thus far. The way I did is from 2017, um, once I filmed that video, I took the new decks that I acquired and I put them in a uh, separate compartment so I could film for this video. So these are the playing cards that I collected over the past year. Uh, I got them from collect conventions, online, all over the place. I hope you like it. Again, if you have a moment, please go ahead. First off, check out this other video, the one that I did from last year. And so you can see where I'm starting off with, what we got, and what we're going to be adding on for this year. Um, from there, take a moment. Please go ahead, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really does help me out. It makes me feel good about myself. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll get into this. And guys, again, happy 2018. All right, guys. So let's get started. As I said earlier, um, I did go ahead and I tried to take all the playing cards that I got from last year, keep them separated from the decks that I got this year. Um, but if I do happen to miss a couple, I do apologize, but let's just dive into it. Um, so we will start it off with the, let's see here. I have the Bicycle Dark Hearts deck. So Bicycle Dark Hearts. Uh, my grandfather picked these up for me when he was on a trip. Um, as you can see, all the cards, cool little tuck case, um, very artistic deck. Um, each card's a little different, but yeah, I mean, so I guess he, the spades are all witches, or I guess fallen angels. The diamonds are all vampire themed um the clubs are i guess like medusa and mermaids and fairies so fairy tales in mythology i guess and the hearts are also all fairies and dragons so a pretty cool deck um, not one that I would necessarily use, but I do appreciate the artwork on it. Um, I do like it. And it's a, from, a, I guess, an artist named Ann Stokes. So pretty cool. Pretty cool little deck. All right. From there, another deck that my grandfather picked up for me that I seem to like. I, I liked it, this one a little bit more. Um, I could actually see myself using these ones. These are the Bicycle... Let's see here. Bicycle. I'm not even really sure of the name of these ones. Um, but let's see here. Again, just a bicycle deck. So the fronts, so the indexes are all the same except for they did put a little pattern design around there. Um, going off of the light blue, so the bluish gray and gold for the court cards. Um, the reds are a little bit darker. So that is. Pretty cool, and the backs of them. I do happen to like the backs. I think that this is a deck that I could see myself using and carrying around. Um, so yeah, so there is that deck. Got two of those. Then we have the Bicycle Cyclist Edition. So go ahead, I'll open these up. Again, same thing. Um, I believe that the indexes are pretty standard standard indexes, just a little bit bolder, as you can see. Um, yeah, a little bit more, I wouldn't say jumbo index, but uh, but definitely bolder. Um, same, but standard colorization though. And the backs are pretty cool. Um, backs, that it, it's got the the sprockets and stuff of the, the bicycles. Um, pretty cool, I like this deck. Again, I think that it's something that I would see myself using. And then we will go into the Spectrum deck. 
Now this is pretty cool. This, I believe, I'm not sure if it was on a Kickstarter, but um, I could be totally wrong. This is put out by Bicycle. Um, this was a gift from my mother-in-law, um, who I thought, I thought it was very cool. Um, the cards come to you in Cy Stebbins order, so which is pretty cool. Uh, comes to you in Cy Stebbins order and comes with a couple gaff cards, pretty cool looking jokers, and a 52 on one card, which I thought was pretty cool as well. Um, oh, it's 52 on one and in Cy Stebbins. Um, the jokers, again, pretty cool. Jokers are also part of the uh, color design, and this is where it's really cool, is the backs of them. So let's see here. So you can see that it goes from purple to pink, red, yellow, green, and then into the blues, back into the purples, reds, and pinks. I thought that that was a very cool deck. Uh, each card is its own different color, so I definitely like that. Um, not something that I would normally use, but definitely just a cool little thing to have that, that I like. Uh, again, I got two of those. Let's see here. Next is a deck called the Mystique deck. Again, also a gift that was given to me by my mother-in-law. Um, again, same things. Uh, same thing as the, the first deck. I really do appreciate the artistry and everything on the deck. I don't, not really sure if it's one that I would carry around though. Um, but I do appreciate the artistry and the design on the deck. Um, as you will see, uh, there is the Jokers. So one black, one red, not matching. Comes with a advertisement card and a double backer. So that's pretty cool. You can do some cool stuff with that. Um, I Obviously I did play around with these a little bit as they are out of order. But just to give you an idea, you know, you got the, the court cards, uh, you got the, the spades, hearts, uh, clubs, and diamonds there. So pretty cool little deck. Again, just a fun little thing to have. I like them. Okay. Here we've got the... Bicycle 808 Auto Cycle Number 1 Editions. I have them in the purple and I have them in the green. I have used both of them. Um, I will say that the purple is actually much darker than what I thought it was going to be with the, holo with the um, holographic box on there. Um, but yeah, just definitely a cool design. Um, cool design. And the, the indexes are pretty standard. Again, they're, they're doing that more of that brownish red um, for the cards. But yeah, uh, pretty cool. So that is the purple edition and then the green edition. Again, same thing. You expect it to be a little bit brighter just because of the way that the box is as compared to the actual, um, the actual deck. But again, I love the back design. I've used these cards. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're definitely pretty cool. All right. All right. So then we will get into the, let's see here. These are the bicycle. Only thing that I can gather is Russell and Morgan edition so let's see here so these are pretty cool bikes um, as you can see a little bit different than the normal bicycle design that you that you'd get um, oh these are chainless backs chainless backs that's what it is okay so bicycle chainless backs and again pretty standard indexes there Kind of like them. A lot of bicycle cards. I'm a big fan of bicycle. Um, but yeah, that is those ones there. Okay, next deck that I have here is I do have one deck of the Fox Targets. These were actually a gift to me from Lance Miller. So Lance, if you do happen to watch this video, thank you very much. Uh, these are from Lance and these are from Murphy's. Um, so George, if you happen to watch this from Murphy's, Thank you very much for these. I really do appreciate it. Got these at Magi Fest before their official release. Um, 
beautiful deck. I, I, I always love Lance's work in anything that he does. I think that it's, it's beautiful. This, it's, it's, there's a lot of work that goes into making it look so simplistic with Lance, if that makes sense. Um, he was going through with me some of the, the key design features that are, that are in these, and it's just, it's incredible the, what he, he thought of. Uh, as far as the hearts, the diamonds, everything that goes into it, um, that's the Ace of Spades. Really do love this deck. Um, it's very nice. And, uh, like, one thing is that each king is a different animal. So the King of Spades is an eagle. The, uh, the King of Hearts, I believe, that's either a bear or a jaguar. The, uh, the King of Clubs is an owl, as you can see. Like, again, there's just a lot of little nuances that you, you wouldn't notice with the deck without talking to the creator and it's just it's very nice it's a very nice deck so i got one of those thank you so much i appreciate it very fun deck to play around with all right also from magi fest pull these out here this is the dapper deck by vanishing ink um they kind of have the same feel as nox uh like the same sort of uh design and stuff like i'm sorry not the same sort of design but the uh the paper but i definitely do like the the paisley edition on there the paisley coloring very beautiful um definitely just eye-catching it's very nice the pips the reds are a little bit brighter and the blacks are again um just they're a little bit bolder and as you can see in the uh, design there we have um, they, they, they incorporated the paisley into there um, so definitely fun again each of the the aces so that's the ace of spades ace of hearts ace of clubs and ace of diamonds incorporated the paisley very nice it is quite dapper and in the box that's just eye-catching so I don't know it's a very eye-catching deck. I did use this for a couple gigs that I had this year. Very nice deck of playing cards. All right, next. I might have touched on these in the last video. Again, if you haven't had a chance, please go check out the last video. I might have touched on these. These are the Victoria decks. They are put out by Ryan Edwards, RE Handcrafted. For those of you that watch my videos before, you know that I am a huge fan of Ryan Edwards. I love his uh, his artwork, I love his leather work, everything. And these are just a nice deck of playing cards. Um, they feel great when you take them out of the box. They work very well. And uh, again, I, I do like them. So I have three decks of those. Okay, from there, I still am not able to get my hands on a pack of jerry's nuggets but i can get my pack my hands on a pack of chicken nuggets yes get my hands on a pack of chicken nuggets these cards are just funny they're just funny um i like them i picked them up so again they say chicken nuggets on them they look like the classic Jerry's Nuggets, but they do have the Chicken Nuggets logo on them. Um, comes with a advertisement card. Comes with a 52 on one card. Um, and then if you go to the court cards, like the Jack of Spades is eating. There's the, the Queen of Spades drinking Cokes. And there's the King of Spades eating his McDonald's French fries. And so on and so forth. Just... Just a funny deck of playing cards, eating his ramen, um, and donuts, and stuff like that. So again, just a funny deck of playing cards from the Chicken Nuggets. Um, and it says, it actually comes with the meaning, it says, compliments of Chicken Nuggets, quit junk food, make life good. So, I like the deck. It's funny, it's a funny deck, and when people see it, they just... They chuckle a little bit, especially magicians if they know about Jerry's Nuggets and then there's Chicken Nuggets and all that. Um, second deck is, these are also the Dapper deck 
from Vanishing Ink. This one is a little bit different though. This one is thoroughly incorporated with Knock, as you can tell by the side tuck case. And the side tuck case, okay. And again, comes with the jokers. And, and as the, these are not in new deck order. I did obviously play with these a little bit. And let's get to where the, so again, that's club, heart, spade and diamond they all look very nice and again the backs of them are a little bit more basic they are just the basic red so again that is a different version of the knock deck still very nice uh i do play with it as you can tell i do carry it around um yeah and i like it very much okay we're almost there I have two decks of the uh, Virtuous decks, again, from RE Handcrafted. Uh, these ones, I believe he did with, ah, uh, there it is. So these decks he did do with Jeremy Griffith, um, as you can see, beautiful decks. Um, these are actually dedicated to Jeremy's dad, David. Uh, beautiful decks. I can't bring myself to open them though. I just, I can't do it. They're too beautiful and there's only a limited amount of them out there. So I just, I can't seem to bring myself to open them up. Maybe one day, maybe one day. Okay. And then I've got a couple of the Penguin X decks. Um, these are the decks that I practice with. So um, I was obviously trying to do something here. Not too sure what it was. But again, they're a pretty standard index on the front, um, except for the Ace of Spades, which has the, the crystallized X in there. It's pretty nice. And then the backs are the X. I still have not had a chance to get a hold of the blue ones, but eventually soon I am hoping to. Okay. All right, and last in this pack, in this box is, oh, <laughs> I should really put these together. Again, these are the Bicycle 808s. And again, I have them in green and red. So I actually do have uh, an open and sealed one. So perfect. So that's box number one. Uh, give me a second. I'll be right back and we'll come back with box number two. All right, guys. So here we go. Um, I'm gonna start winding down, but let's get into the other decks that I have here. So. First deck that I'm going to pull out is I have the Gold Artiface deck. These are from Illusionist. These are originally for the Black Club. Um, got these on major discount, and um, yeah, they're pretty nice. I mean, yeah, I mean they got the, uh, the court cards and then the backs. And the really cool thing about this deck is actually the Ace of Clubs, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that should be the really cool thing about this deck. Let me see if I can find it for you really quick. And boom, that's where it is. So instead of them changing up the Ace of Spades, so they just kept it a regular spade, they changed up the Ace of Clubs. Really cool concept, uh, good idea. I do like the artwork. Comes with a double backer, and that is the gold artifice deck artifice deck i have two of those so two of those one sealed one open as i explained in my last video i do try and keep one deck sealed one deck open one sealed for uh, in case the deck ever increases value and one deck to actually open and play around with this deck right here is an awesome deck it's called the visa deck um this is by patrick coon and alex pandrea I am a big fan of Patrick Coon's decks. I am a big fan of Alex Pendrea's work. So this was a this was a no-brainer for me. The cards feel super crushed. Um, they're very easily to handle. They're very easy to handle. Um, the court cards are really nothing too special. Um, it's pretty much standard index, but the back it just it does look beautiful um, there, especially with the waves and the gold printing and everything. Looks very nice, and I am a big fan of that. Um, I do like it. Okay.
Next one. You guys might be familiar with these. These are the Carpe Noctum decks. These are from Illusionist, put out by Chris Ramsey. Very nice deck. The uh, reds are, it has almost like a pinkish tint to it, um, but I like it. I, I really do like it. Um, it's just a beautiful deck. And then the backs are that um, with the Carpe Noctum flower. It's just a, it's a very pretty deck. Again, I'm a big fan of simplistic decks. Very big fan of simplistic decks. And uh, definitely a fan of that one. I like it a lot. Okay. These ones are pretty cool. I can't get into why they're so cool. Because um, I don't have permission to nor is it my place to get into it. These are the originals, um, but these are, if you don't know already, these are the Brooklyn Playing Card Company decks. Um, this is the launch edition. These decks are really cool. They, they hide something very secretive in them um, that you should definitely just, if you see them, just do yourself a favor, pick up a deck of them. Um, definitely cool, definitely well worth it, and just, uh, I can't, I can't explain, explain to you how awesome this deck really is, um, but you gotta pick it up yourself, you gotta do it yourself, uh, so I have two of those. I have a couple decks of these, um, these are the Madison Erdenace deck, um, I mean, it handles pretty good, it's a standard deck playing cards uh, for me and there's the Joker comes with double backer advertisement cards um, and those are the backs so yeah pretty cool deck okay now on to a couple of my favorite decks here. We've got the Cherry Casinos. I s did a video on these when I first got them. I did an unboxing video. So if you have a second, go check that video out. Um, I'll put the link in the description. These videos, I brought, I got half a brick. So I got six decks. I am now down to five. Okay, so I threw one of the decks out because I just used it too much to the point where it was just non-salvageable. Um, I still have this deck that I play around with, I still use, and stuff like that. Um, and I have four still sealed. Um, I'm not going to go too much into this deck because I have a full review on it. If you want to check out the, the review on that on this deck, please go ahead, check it, click on the link that I have down in the description, and you can do it that way, but I am a huge fan of Cherry Casinos, Pure Imagination Products, um, Derek McGee, and I just can't say enough good stuff about these decks of playing cards. So, since I did that deck, they actually came out with another one. So they came out with the Black Cherries. So I ordered, I believe, five of these decks. I have one that's opened that I just don't know where it is. Um, that I cannot seem to find right now. But, um, again, these are beautiful playing cards. Uh, if you like the, the regular Cherries ones, imagine them with a, a black design, with a black background. Very nice. Um, again, beautiful, beautiful decks of playing cards. I, again, I love them because I'm just a very big fan of simplistic decks of playing cards. Um, another couple decks that we have here. I haven't opened these, but these are the Bicycle uh, Rhapsody decks of playing cards. I guess that they're musically themed. Um, I have one in dark red and one in purple. Haven't opened those up, haven't played with them. Um, I have a couple decks of the Knights 
left. Um, I did do a review on these. I ordered three or four decks of these. Um, I have one that's still open, still playing with it, and it's a lot of fun. Um, I did do a review on these as well. Please feel free, I'll put the link in the description for those as well. Okay. Um, these decks, these are pretty cool. I got these at a convention up in Philly. Um, not even too sure who they are made by. Um, they're made by Bokopo Playing Card Company in Japan. Um, this is a Di Vernon deck, and I believe that this is the Spring series. So there was a couple different series of these. I like these because, again, they're simplistic and they just look so beautiful. So, um, they have that baby blue background with an orange border leading into the white, and they just look so nice. Like, they really do. Just going out with, with them. Um, the pips are pretty standard. Um, nothing crazy there. Not pretty standard. The pips, uh, the indexes and everything are standard. Um, and yeah, just a, just a very nice deck of playing cards. Looks very beautiful. All right. And the last one, last but definitely not least, is, uh, Illusionist had a sale. So I did pick up a few decks of these. These are the SWE... Erdenese playing cards from Illusionist. Um, very fun deck of playing cards. Um, I do like them. And I actually do have one open. Oh, had to get out of the chair for a second. This is the one that I'm carrying around right now. Um, so they look very nice. Again, I'm a big fan of simplicity. So there they are. Um, they also have the pips. I'm sorry, the face cards, the court cards, have a little bit of the dark green to match the backs. Um, and they are a lot of uh, Daniel Madison and Illusionist um, friends and stuff in there. Um, I believe there's Adam Wilbur and stuff. So, again, very nice deck um, I'm carrying around right now. Um, they even said you know one of the the queens i was performing with this over uh christmas and one of the somebody said oh look at that queen she's so sassy so it's just fun um so guys again thank you so much i appreciate your time thank you for spending your time with me i hope that you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video please give a thumbs up if you haven't already please go ahead click the subscribe button to the channel and turn on notifications Guys, thank you so much. Have a happy 2018, and I'll be in touch with you.